everybody, Miss Sam here, and welcome back to another online dance class. Today, we're going to work on our basic ballet vocabulary. Let's get started. Alrighty, friends, so the first move we're going to start with is called a plie. Can you guys say the word plie? Nice job. A plie means to bend. We can do a plie in many different ways, but today let's practice it from first. Ready? We plie and straighten, plie and straighten. There's also a demi plie, which is a small bend, and a grand plie, which is a big bend. Nice job, friends. Our next move is a tendu. Can you guys say the word tendu? Very good. A tendu means to stretch. So that's when we're going to stretch our foot and stretch it back. And tendu and close. Beautiful job, friends. Our next move is going to be a chasse. Can you guys say the word chasse? Nice job. A chasse means to chase. So if we were to turn to the side, we're going to chase our foot. So we're going to chase our foot. Very good. Let's try it again. Ready? And chasse. Chasse. Beautiful job, friends. All right. Our next move is going to be a coupe. Can you guys say the word coupe? Nice work. A coupe means to cut. So sometimes you'll see dancers at the dance studio doing coupe turns. Beautiful job. All right. Our next move is called a passe. Can you say the word passe? Very good. Passe means to pass. So, a lot of times we'll do our passes to our knee at the ballet bar, but passe actually means to pass through your knee. It can go forward, it can go side, it can go back, and so on and so on. So, that's called a passe. Our next move is going to be a dégagé. Can you guys say the word dégagé? Very good. A dégagé means to disengage. So a dégagé at the bar would be to brush your foot and close, and brush your foot and close. Try it with me, ready? Dégagé. Beautiful job, friends. Our next dance move is called a développé. Can you say the word développé? Nice work. Développé means to develop. So, we like to do our developés at the ballet bar. And we come all the way through our passe. We bring it up to the front, or to the side, or to the back. It means to develop the leg. Nice work. Our next move is an a chape. Can you guys say the word a chape? Nice job. A chape means to escape. So, an a chape that we do in our dance class here is when we jump out. And in, and out, and in. You can also do them with a foot and in. Beautiful job, friends. Our next one is called en quoi. You'll hear this a lot at the ballet bar. It means to do everything in the shape of a cross. So we're going to go forward, side, back, and side again. En quoi. Nice work. Can you guys say the word en quoi one more time? Nice job. Our next one is a frat pet. Can you say the word frappe? Nice job, friends. Frappe means to strike. So that's when we flex our foot and we're going to strike the ground and flex. And strike the ground and flex. Beautiful job. Our next move is releve. That is one of our most basic dance moves. That is when we rise. Can you guys say the word releve? Nice job. That is when we rise up and lower and rise up and lower. Nice job. Our next move is a rond de jambe, which means circle of the leg. Can you say rond de jambe? Nice job. That's when we stand at the bar and we circle our leg all the way around. Beautiful job, friends. Very good. Our last one we're going to practice today is a saute. Can you say the word saute? Nice job. Saute means to jump. You can do a sauté in many different ways, but let's practice a sauté from first position today. So we plie and sauté. Plie and sauté. Beautiful job, friends. You guys learned your ballet words and their meanings. I'm so proud of you. You can rewind this video to practice as many times as you'd like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Keep on dancing, friends. 